A scientist at the University of California have developed uh, intelligent underwear that incorporates biosensors to monitor blood pressure and other vital signs. Far from being a fashion accessory, the biosensors are designed for wear on the battlefields of the future. Engineering student Thomas McGilvray is wearing the latest in men's underwear. The briefs are comfortable, durable, and he thinks stylish. But unlike most underpants, these briefs could one day save Thomas's life. Printed onto the waistband so it's in constant contact with the skin is an electronic biosensor designed to measure blood pressure, heart rate, and other vital signs. The technology, developed by nanoengineering professor Joseph Wang and his team, breaks new ground in the field of intelligent textiles. Their method is similar to conventional screen printing, although the ink contains carbon electrodes. It's important to mix it well so the quality will be good. The project is being funded by the US military. American troops, thousands of whom have been killed and injured in Iraq and Afghanistan, are likely to be the first recipients. Specific project involve uh, monitoring the injury of soldier uh, that uh, during a battlefield injury, and the goal is to develop a minimally invasive sensor that can locate in the field that identify the type of injury. Ultimately, the biosensor that detects an injury will also be able to direct the release of drugs to relieve pain and even treat the wound. But the technology's range of application goes beyond the military. We envision all the trend of personalized medicine, like elderly at home for remote monitoring, and monitoring a wide range of biomedical markers for cardiac marker, alerting for any stroke, potential stroke, uh, diabetic changes, and other uh, changes related to any biomedical uh, scenario. Wearable biosensors can also provide valuable information to athletes or even measure blood alcohol levels. So the idea would be to have your textile monitor the actual blood alcohol content that's correlated with the perspiration and then start informing the user what their blood alcohol level is. And therefore we can start building systems that can make decisions based upon that. For example, one can envision that a car won't start if an ethanol level is high or above the state level. The field of textile intelligence is in its infancy, but it promises significant changes in what we wear and why we wear it.